you how to set up some annotative text which is slightly different than dynamic text in the sense that it's going to be text that once you set the size of it uh, in the settings it will come out that size on a piece of paper regardless of what scale that you subsequently use. So I suppose the first thing I'm going to do is maybe just draw something here. I'm just going to draw a rectangle and I'm going to draw it, uh, I'll draw it 50 millimeters squared um, just so as I have a reference point. And I'm going to zoom in on it in here. So now here I have a uh, rectangle using the RSE command and it's uh, 50 millimeters squared. So I'm going to put some text on here now. Um, what I need to do is to come up to the annotate tab on the toolbar and um, I've got an option here to work with text and I've got an option to work with dimensions and I've got a work an option to work with leaders. Uh, what I'm going to work on here is text. Okay, now what I need to do if I want to use uh, my own text, I need to come to this little button here, the text style button and do a left click. And I want to use an annotative style. The current annotative style um, has a text height of zero. So what I need to do really is make a new additive style. So I'm going to come over to new and I can give it a name. I'm going to call this one five millimeters annotative annotative uh, five millimeters and go OK. And you can he see here it's selected at the moment, but the paper text height is zero. So I'm going to change that to five. And this is important, it's the paper text height that's going to be 5 mil, not necessarily the height of it in the model. If I go back to standard, um, if I go back to standard here for a second, uh, when I select height here, it will be the height of the text in the model. And, you know, depending on what I'm drawing, I might need to make my text a couple of hundred mil uh, tall for it to come out on the paper at the height that I'd like. So I'm going to go back into Annotive here, and I'm setting the paper height to 5 mil. Make sure annotative is ticked here and I can select the font here and whether the font is bold or italic. Um, I'm just going to go with Arial as my font. Um, and I'll set that as current. So I've created a new one by going new, change the text height to 5 and I'm going to set it as the current by clicking on here. Once that's done I can go close and I can see here now from this drop down menu list um, I've got the one that I just created 5 mil anno along with the normal annotative and the standard one up here. So it's the 5 mil one that I want and if I want to put some text on here I'm going to draw it on using multi-line. So click on the multi-line. I can start by drawing a box anywhere here and I'll finish it out there. It's just a text box and you can write anything you like in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in uh, this is five millimeters and when you're finished uh, writing your text you can zoom out a bit so you can see it. when you're finished writing your text you do a left click outside the box. Now what I'm going to do is um, leave that like as, as it is for now and you can see that it's way more than five mil. Remember that the uh, rectangle that's on the screen here uh, the first thing I drew just here where I've got my mouse now, that is 50 mil by 50 mil. So this text here right now is way more than 5 mil if we were just looking at it in the, the model. Um, what we need to do next is to tell the computer what scales we want the 5 mil text to come out in. So you can see down here at the moment I'm using an annotation scale of 1 is to 50. I can change that to 1 is to 100 and I can change it to anything I like down here. This is the bit where you have to be thinking ahead a little bit. You have to think how many different scales might I need a 5 mil text on. Um, so you can select any one down here, one at a time, let's say 1 is to 100, and then what you need to do is to add that scale to the text. So you need to select the text by clicking on it, go add current scale, and that text is now going to come out at a scale of 1 is to 100 five millimeters high. It would be uh, planning ahead, it would be a good idea to have more than just one scale. You may need to use viewports with a number of different scales. You're not probably not going to get away with 1 is to 100 in your entire piece of paper. So to get around that, what you can do is to come to this button here, which is add and delete scales. So I left click on that. And it should bring up a box here now in a second where we can add and delete scales. Oh, sorry, I need to select the text first of all. 
and then come to the add scales button up here uh, so I've clicked on the text and I press return now um, and it brings me up the list of scales. I'm just going to do that again because I kind of got the order of it wrong so I'm just going to hit escape a couple of times and come out of it. So the first thing you do is you come up to the add delete scales button and do a left click and then look at the command line it's saying select the annotative objects. So click anywhere on the text and finish selecting objects so I press enter and that's where this list comes up now. So right now um, that text will come out as 5 mil high on a scale of 1 is to 10 and 1 is to 50. I'm going to put a couple more in there. I'm going to put in 1 is to 10. Um, and if I want to put in a different number of them, what I can do at this point is I, if I hold down the control key, I can select uh, multiple ones here as well. So we'll go 1 is to 5 as well. So now I'll have now I'll have 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 20, 1 is to 50, and 1 is to 100 already in there. Um, so, uh, well, I'll come out of that now for a second and just go OK there. Oh, sorry about this, my computer's a bit slow. So I've got 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 20, 1 is to 50, 1 is to 100. I'm going to add in one more just so you can see it happening again, and I'm going to add in a scale of 1 is to 200. So I click on Add, and oh, my my the full long list of my scales is not coming up here at the moment it should be coming up this will this will work for you anyway you'll see your scales in there I'm going to click OK so now what this is saying to to me is that if I use that 5 mil annotative text as long as I print to one of these scales here I don't know where the 1 and 8 is coming from but anyway um, as long as I print to one of these scales here that text will come out at 5 mil in height so I'm going to go OK to that and then I'll go into my layout tab down here now here's my viewport and my viewport scale at the moment is 1 to 100 so I'll change that, we'll change it to maybe 1 is to 10 and see what happens now I've lost my information but I should be able to find it, there we go so there's 1 is to 10 and you can see that the rectangle in here is tiny now that rectangle is only 50 mil square and this page I've set up here is, is an A4 page so I should be able to print um, that rectangle out at a bigger scale than 1 is to 10 so I'll try 1 is to 5 now watch what happens to the text that text is going to jump in size and then resize itself so I'll select 1 is to 5 and you can see what's happened the rectangle has grown in size because I've now gone to a scale of 1 is to 5 um, but the text remains at 5 mil in height what I'm going to do just to show you it happening again I'm going to go back into model I'm going to select my um, text and I'm going to add a new scale to it and I'm going to add a scale of 1 is to 1 and by doing that I'll be able to on my model space uh, sorry on my paper space then I'll be able to show that rectangle at a scale of 1 is to 1 so it'll come out as 50 mil square but the text will still be 5 mil so down here on my viewport scale I come to 1 is to 1 the rectangle grows in size it's now going to be 50 mil if I print it out, but the text is still 5 mil in height. That's really how it works. And to show you happening, show it happening a second time round, I'm going to set up a new annotative scale um, for text, and I'm going to call it a 10 mil annotative. So again, if I want to put a new style in here, I come down to my text style arrow, left click. I want to make a new one, and this time I'm going to call it 10 millimeter annotative and go OK. I'm keeping the font the same and the uh, font style the same but I need to change this 5 down here to a 10 and apply. Now what I want to do is I'll make it the current one. Uh, actually I won't. I'll, I'll, leave it as, I'll leave it as is. I'll close that down and pick it from the list. I've got 10 mil, 5 mil, the annotative one and the standard one. So I want a 10 mil one. Don't worry about that 5 there, it will change in a few seconds. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit more here and I'm going to put on some uh, text. I'm going to make a longer text box this time. And I'm going to say this is 10 millimeters and click outside the box to finish it. Okay, now it looks like it's a bit all over the place at the moment, but this will fix up when you come into your uh, layout mode. So again, I want to, currently I'm in a scale of 1 is to 
uh, 1 is to 100. I'll change that there to say 1 is to 50. Click on the text that you want to uh, set the scales for. What we're doing here now is, remember, we've got a, a new annotative text style that we've just made which will print the text at 10 mil in size on the paper. But we need to tell the computer to print it at 10 mil in size depending on which scale we want to use. So we're back to the point now where we need to tell the computer what scales do we want to use where this will come out at 10 mil in size. So we're going to add the current scale, which is the 1 to, 1 to 50, which is coming from down here. And I also want to create a few other ones. So I come up here to add scales. Watch the command line, it's saying select the annotative object, so I'm going to click on the text and press enter. Right now, that will print out in ten, at 10 mil in size on paper if the scale used is 1 is to 100 or 1 is to 50. And I want to add in a few more. We'll go 1 is to 1, hold down the control key and I'll go 1 is to 5, 1 is to 10. And I'll go 1 is, to, 1 is to 1 and 1 is to 10 for the moment and they should appear in this list over here. Um, and that's okay, I'll go okay at that. So now I'm going to go back into my layout and the 10 the ten mil text doesn't appear on here, the oh there it is, it's up there, okay, this is 10 mil. So if I change my viewport scale now to something where the 10 mil text will appear to be 10 mil, you can see that it has changed in size there now. And I'll try that again, I'll go 1 is to 10. You could see that the text jumps in size, but then it almost instantaneously goes back down to 10 mil in size. And I think I used it at 1 is to 100 as well. So watch this. If I go like this, it jumps in size, but then it shrinks back down again. So no matter what scale I'm using down here for my viewport, that text will always come out 10 mil high on my piece of paper. And that's how additive text works. It's a, a good um, layout tool and it's a, it will leave your drawings looking very professional. You'll have the same height text throughout your drawing regardless of what scale you're using in your viewports and that just makes your, your work look neat. It's more presentable. So it's a good drafting practice to do that.